Today is April Fool's Day, the day where everybody is afraid of being fooled by other people. Being fooled by other people is nothing compared to being fooled by yourself. How do we do that? Well, we think we can find happiness without training our minds, without getting some control over our own greed, aversion, and delusion. And yet, no matter how much you get outside, no matter how much happiness you get from things outside, or people outside, or situations of power outside, if you don't have control over your greed, don't have control over your anger, don't have some control over your delusion, those things can destroy any happiness you might get. You get something and it's not enough, so you keep trying to get more and more and more, and finally you that's, that's the cause of a lot of people's downfall. Of course, with anger you can destroy your things with anger, you can destroy your relationships through your anger. And through your carelessness and confusion you can create a lot of trouble as well. So no matter how much you want to control things outside, you realize if you're really wise you want to control things inside first. And that way, no matter what the situation is outside, then the mind can be happy. Because as the Buddha said, that's what wisdom is all about, is asking wise people what when I do it will be to my long-term welfare and happiness. Realizing that long-term is better than short-term, and that it's going to depend on your own actions, and particularly your own actions in training your mind. So as you're sitting here, remind, remind yourself, you're trying to gain some wisdom. And it starts with simple principles like this, that wisdom has to focus on what you're doing inside, what the mind is thinking, gaining some control over it. Otherwise, whatever you get, it's like having a little child go into a room with valuable things. The child can hurt itself and it can damage a lot of things because it doesn't really know how to treat them properly and has no control over itself. Well, in many ways our minds are childish. In fact, that's the Pali word for fool can also mean child. In the sense of an adult who's not childlike, it's child childish. An adult should know what's going to be truly helpful in life. And many times we just simply go by our own preconceived notions. So as we're meditating, we're getting a little bit more wisdom in Control, gaining some control over the thing that most needs to be controlled. The part of life that really is our responsibility. That, the Buddha said, is another sign of wisdom, is acting on what really is your responsibility. And as for things that are not your responsibility, you put them aside. Focus on where you really can make a difference. that way, even if other people fool you about little things, you're not fooling yourself. And that's what's important. <laughs>